Have you ever wanted to design a tile wall, but there is an annoying column in the middle of the wall that ruins everything? Well, that's exactly the challenge we are tackling today. Hey dear, this is nice hour and every week I share practical and creative tutorials just for you. In this video, I'll walk you through how to smartly design around this protruding column to not only hide it, but also create a slick and modern tile wall. Before we start, if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to like the video, drop a comment, and share it with your friends. Alright, let's get it started with this exciting design challenge. So first, let's create base of the T-wall. Use rectangle tool and draw a rectangle right here by 290 right here, then use push pull tool and extrude it by 2 cm, let me select all and make it groove, now go to inside of that and again make it groove, so now use tape measure and Draw some guideline here by 10 cm and again by 45 cm and another one by 50 cm. Then use rectangle tool again and draw a rectangle right here by 10 cm and extrude it by 25 let me take another copy of that up to here and extrude it like this now select both of them and make them single group and again use tape measure draw a guideline right here by 20 cm and again 20 cm I'm gonna create a decorative box for the tail wall right here draw another rectangle right here up to here let me fix that and extrude it by 30 cm like this now let's fix here by a clear measure 30 cm and extrude it up to here now it's good let me make it group 2 and then let's create a frame back of the TV use rectangle tool again draw a rectangle right here by 220 comma 120 then use push pull tool again extrude by 4 cm use offset tool take an offset by 10 cm and extrude here 2 for centimeter and also here let me increase that up to here select all and make it group 2 then use flip tool and mirror it like this now let's Draw a guideline right here by 120 cm. This guideline is the center of this frame. Let me fix that. Find the center of that and move it down right here. That's good. Now, to make our model a bit attractive, let's bevel around some of the corners, like here. Let me first go to inside of that and use 
build plugin and with the first option click on it we can build the corners for example by seven centimeter and also here seven centimeter and this one too seven centimeter and this one too good inside of that use build plugin fillet the corners up to here like this and also here too up to here now it looks good and also let's spice this up by adding some evenly spaced grows just to give it a nicer look so for do that use 1001 bit tools plugin first select the surface then use 1001 bit tools plugin with this option vertical hours you will see this window and change something like depth, thickness, spacing, angle, depth of that, for example, 0.6 depth, 7 cm thickness, 7.3 spacing, and 0 angle. And here, choose front and click on create lowers. Right here. As you can see, it has some bug, has problem right here. No worry, we can select one of them, take a copy of that, then use Ctrl Z and right here, go to Edit menu and click on Paste in place. Now we have one of them. Let me fix that. Extrude it up to here. So now let me make it component. Click on create and take a copy of that by 7.3. Like this. Now type the number of that by a little x. For example, 30 x enter 60 x it's too much or we can delete these ones now it's good and it's better it looks nicer now let's put a tv right here Find the center of that. Move it up here and also here too. And here too. And also let's put some material on it. Eastern material here and also here in this box As you can see, the build areas have a material issue. So I won't fix it right now because I have already made a video about how to adjust materials on curved surfaces. Make sure to check it out. It's really useful. And put a silver material on these lowers. Now it's great. And a white color here and let's create some shelves right here
extrude by 1.6, select all, make it component, click on create, move it up, take a copy of that, up to here, then divide it by 4, I think it's good, and delete this one. So as you can see, it's done. Now let's take a render with an escape engine. I hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. See you next time.